Welcome to Caiaphas Lake. Located in southwestern Greece, Caiaphas is one of Greece's hidden gems, a great place to visit and an ideal location for various activities. From the 8th to the 10th of July 2022, the area became home to the water ski community, the center of attention for those who love this exciting sport. It was time for the highly anticipated first water ski world championship, Caiaphas Battle 2022. The beauty of the area and the level of participants had raised the bar of expectations for this event before it had even started. Professional and amateur riders from 15 countries from all over the world visited the magnificent lake and the impressive Caiaphas water ski resort, ready for action and entertainment. Everyone could agree on one thing. Caiaphas Lake is the perfect venue for a water ski event. The conditions it offers, the natural beauty surrounding it, and the flat water are the perfect ingredients for a successful competition. I travel the world, this is, this is my job. You know, every continent there is possible in the world to water ski, is, that's where we do it. And what makes Caiaphas special is it's purpose built for water skiing. It's narrow, it's protected, and Beyond that, it's the passion for the sport. It's the people that ski here, it's the people that run it. They make this place special. It, it's a very, almost a strange situation here in Caiaphas because it's got it's this massive lake which has got this, this beautiful spit that we stand on which makes this really a perfect water ski venue. I mean, really, it's, it's unusual. There's nowhere really that I can think of that's better than this in the world. You're looking for flat water, you're looking for graded banks, you're looking for, you know, not much interference from sort of the outside conditions, you just want, want flat water so the boat can cut through it and your ski's not uh, jarring around. But I mean, we're right there, this is it. This is, you know, there's nowhere better to ski than this really. So this place makes it ideal for water skiing because there's no wind. The water's perfect and very slow, perfect for it to turn at the buoy um, and I love it here. Caiaphas Lake, as you can see, it's well protected from the wind, so it's never windy. The conditions are always perfect. It's surrounded by trees. The sea is like 200 meters away from here. It's one of the best ski sites the world has. Caiaphas Lake and the municipality of Zacaro are attracting more and more visitors, and hosting this event will only help the area grow and become a place to visit for everyone around the world. Η περιοχή αυτή ως μία από τις προσφυλέστερες και πιο γνωστές πίστες για θελάσσιο σκι του κόσμου είναι γνωστή τώρα και τουλάχιστον 20 χρόνια. Θεωρείται μία από τις 10 πιο πρόσφερες περιοχές για να γίνεται αυτό το σπορ. Σαν αθλητικό γεγονός από μόνο ότι είναι κάτι μεγάλο, αλλά το ότι έφερε τόσο κόσμο, γέμισαν τα ξενοδοχεία, γέμισαν τα μαγαζιά της περιοχής, δείχνει ότι τέτοια γεγονότα τα έχει ανάγκη η περιοχή. The importance of the 2022 Caiaphas Battle was also proved by the fact that significant sponsors decided to support it, knowing the future is set to be even brighter as the water ski community evolves. It's very important anyone, any individual or a company that is able to do a sponsorship to assist a sport event, it's good to do it. It's good to do it because like this you help the sport, you help the people, you help, you help the, the young people to see, to learn, to, to maybe tomorrow to be the next champions. 
with this kind of uh, events, I think it will be more known. Greece is surrounded by seas and it's, uh, I think, the ideal place It was not only sponsors that supported this beautiful event, but also the Greek government that quickly understood the importance of hosting world-class athletes in an area that is constantly developing. I think it's a great promotion for tourism. It attracts athletes and sports tourism is actually quite important everywhere in the world, but especially in Greece. The event is truly inclusive, as it also allows amateur athletes to test their skills and find themselves competing in the exact same venue alongside the elite representatives of the sport. The amateur skiers were the ones that got to action first, with their performances showing that we should keep an eye on them. Most of these athletes have world-class skiers as their mentors and role models, and they all agreed that having the chance to compete next to them was an opportunity not to miss. We have a lot of uh, great athletes and water skiers here, and I, I'm looking forward to seeing how they ski and improving by, uh, by watching them ski. It's a great experience to, see, uh, to ski alongside these amazing athletes. Well, the feeling here is great. It's my home lake, if you want to take it this way and skiing next to these great names, what I need and what I want to take from them is the rhythm they have while they ski, it's, it's perfect. I visit Kayafas because uh, Jamie Bo and other stars of uh, Water Ski World uh, visit this place. Uh, I was training uh, with Jamie and it was a really great opportunity for me. This battle is testing the participants in the slalom discipline. So let's now learn more about the format of the event and the criteria that shapes the final standings. The format in this competition is that we have three preliminary rounds and uh, the best uh, score of the three rounds is the qualifying score for the finals. There's the final round consists of 10 uh, male skiers and four female uh, skiers will be the decisive round for the winner of the competition. The skier with the most buoys at the shortest uh, rope length is the first one and then the second one and the, and the third. The professional water skiers hit the water on the second day of action and made it clear that the spectacle they can offer is out of this world. The conditions were great and so were the performances. I mean, first of all, this has been just an unbelievable day. We've been building up to this event for many, many weeks. We have been excited. I know George for a few years. I've competed here in 2013. I've been here coaching actually a few times and I'm, I couldn't be more happy to be here. I've actually been in Greece many, many years. I've been coming here since I was zero years old over in Porto Heli. So uh, I love it. I know a little bit about it. And uh, no, it's a, it, was a, it was a wonderful day. We had some really good scores this morning, this afternoon, uh, the, the the weather didn't really help us, but we're looking forward to a, a, a really big uh, day tomorrow. Uh, so this morning, uh, my score was a little lower than I had hoped, hoping uh, we got two more rounds to kind of figure it out before the final and hoping to put up a big score in round four tomorrow.
The participant list was full of top-level water skiers. Let's meet one of them, a female athlete with a world championship title under her belt. So my career so far with water skiing has been amazing. Um, been able to experience some great events and visit some really amazing places around the world, including Greece. So in the future, I'm hoping to continue pushing women's sport as, for, as far as possible. I think um, the women in water skiing, it's been, the level has been raising over the past couple years, and I hope that we can continue to push that and inspire some young girls that, like what I once was, to get into the sport and chase their dreams and be able to travel the world with this, this sport. The feelings that I have when I'm skiing, it's hard to describe. Um, it's just, it's such a fast and aggressive sport and you're gliding on water, which is not like anything else. So it's a, it's a very surreal feeling to be on top of the water and skiing. As the action was progressing on Caiaphas Lake, the performances continued to be excellent and both pros and amateurs were giving their maximum skill to achieve the best possible result with eyes on the win. The highlights were not only action on the water, but also on shore. The organizers did their best to provide an event that combines sporting spectacle with socializing and the water ski community is always open to welcoming its new members and establishing great relationships among those who are already excelling. We're all so supportive of one and one another. It's amazing. We're all friends, even if we don't know each other. The sport, it's really the, um, it ties us together and to make the bond stronger in our friendships. The people I compete against, we, we travel the world together. So at the end of the day, we spend a lot of time together, we become friends, we become like family. You know, we're, we're friends on shore, and then when we get on the water and it's time to get wet, we are, we are big enemies. You know, I want to beat anyone as much as they want to beat me. So, you know, the battle stays on the water, we come off the water, we have fun, we experience stuff together, and we just, we try and make the most of what we have. We try and make the most of the experiences, we try and make the most of being here in Greece and being Caiaphas. It's very competitive, but at the same time, it's a very uh, relaxed uh, community and uh, everybody is very supportive of each other and uh, is rooting for each other all the time. This sense of companionship has a direct impact on the younger athletes' performances on the water. The professional athletes want to make the younger ones understand the importance of having fun while riding but they also offer them even more detailed information and tips on their water skiing style. For the amateur riders, I mean, I would always say that it's most important to have fun, uh, go out and have, just enjoy being at the lake. Um, I know that that's always what I try to do. It doesn't really matter what score you put up. Um, skiing for me has always been a family, a family oriented. Uh, sport and I love that about it. So I really hope that the amateurs are able to find that love as well for the sport. We train a hell of a lot. We, we do a lot of work off the water, thinking about it, and then on the water in the moment, you, you, you develop these sort of techniques of, okay, if I'm in this position, if I'm coming in straight and narrow, which is obviously a lot harder than being wide and early with, with space, you know, you kind of go, what am I going to do? So you have all these sort of little, little techniques, but also the problem is that you, as much as you practice off the water where there's not much adrenaline and on the water in practice, you go to a tournament and you've got twice the nerves, twice the adrenaline, your body's working just a little bit harder. So you've got to kind of find that way. And I think that's really what separates the good from the great, um, those little moments. And uh, so we train, train, train as much as we can to, to move to greatness. When I get the opportunity to ski, to ski or mentor younger athletes, younger water skiers, I say it's just all about fun. If you can teach them to have fun, enjoy being on the water, it's going to become their lifelong passion. They're going to teach their friends, they're going to, later in life, they're going to want to teach their family, and that's just going to grow the sport. I've, over 30 years of doing this sport, that's been my number one goal. It's like, how do I make this fun? How do I not get stressed about being on the water? How do I want to do it tomorrow, the next day, and maybe the following years? 
that's what I try and encourage. It doesn't need to be stressful. It doesn't need to be too serious. Let's just have some fun and enjoy it. Coming back to the weekend's action, the final day of the Caiaphas battle saw the winners crowned. But it was also much more than that. The organizers took care of everything and took the action to a whole new level as they filled the day with onshore activities. All of them were carefully planned to make the event a true party, a celebration for both the water ski and local community. A new event, it's water ski and party. So we have our dancers, we've got the Greek spirit, it's the fun of it, it's the tradition we have. And why not change it? I mean, sports usually are boring. This is fun. Water skiing is an amazing sport. And today here, it wasn't just a sport event, but it was an actual party. A lot of people, food, dances. So it was fun, actually. Music, very important. <laughs> The competitive part was, of course, even more impressive, as the sport's best athletes gave their all to finish victorious and leave Greece with the best of memories, but also with a prize in their hands. In front of an enthusiastic crowd, Britain's Will Asher demonstrated once again why he is considered a legend of the sport. He managed to showcase his skills when it mattered most and was the pro men's category winner. The podium was completed by his compatriot Freddie Winter and the Italian Matteo Luzzeri. This is a good chance to learn even more about the British winner, who once again excelled. Yeah, so I, uh, my family are water skiers. So I've, the, the thing that really got me into water skiing is that my family always did it. You know, we did it every weekend. That was the thing we did together as a family. And just over many, many years of doing it, you, you get better, you improve, you meet, you meet great people, people that encourage you along the way. You know, George Hatsis, I've known him for many years, and he runs this place here at Caiaphas. And it's, it's just being around people that have a positive, positive attitude and want to lift everyone around them just helps stay in the sport. Try not to be stressed when you're riding the ski. You know, the, the feelings we have, it's, it's adrenaline. It's, it's, it's power, it's control, and it's, it's kind of the complete package. You know, you have many people that do it, but my feeling is just that the quest for perfection. You know, we're, we're, we're an artist, and we're trying to master our craft. I, I would say I've been blessed with a, a career. If I asked my 10-year-old self what I could dream of, I've achieved that career. I've done literally everything I set out to do. So at this point I'm having fun, I'm enjoying it, I'm trying to take in as many experiences as I can. And if along the way I can help the sport, if I can help people in the sport, if I can encourage people to get a better feeling out of the sport, and maybe help people get into the sport, that's gonna be the next phase of my career, that'll be the next thing that hopefully I could hang my hat on and be like, okay, I did something positive. In the women's category, Jamie Bull earned another milestone as she remained undefeated in 2022. Although pressured by the performances of the US's Ali Nicholson and Italy's Beatrice Iani, the Canadian athlete managed to be crowned winner of the Caiaphas Battle 2022, another achievement on her resume.
The competition here at Kayapas this weekend was amazing. Um, we got great vibes, lots of crowd, everyone was having an awesome time and I was able to ski well and take home the title so I'm super excited. The Hapsis family did an amazing job putting on the event. They brought a lot more to the table than just skiing. We had lots of music, lots of dancers, it was like a festival um, which was awesome for us skiers. It's something different, we don't usually have that so it was a bit of change of pace on the dock but I think overall everyone really enjoyed it. Uh, it was a lot a lot happier, a lot more exciting, and I think it was great for the crowd as well. I think everyone who was here we had a great, great time. All the athletes were amazed. It was the first time that this happened to their skill live. Uh, that's what they want to do now, that's what they were telling me, that uh, we want all the tournaments to be like Kayafa's battle. That's how our sport will grow and that's what they want to do from now on. Uh, we put our market, we put our name on the board, Kayafa's battle is, go is going big. Since the Caiaphas battle is still a new event, there will be ever more innovations for years to come. What will stay the same for the next edition? The desire to pair water ski action with other activities that enhance the experience and make the event seem even more like a festival. My vision for this tournament was and is to turn it into a festival, to turn it into an event and not a tournament. I want to be remembered as the one and only event that will transform water skiing tournaments. As you saw today, we had dancers, we had the lady with her saxophone, we had the music, everybody was on party time. It's not only the results, it's the feeling and the vibes that all the people had here. Everybody enjoyed it, everybody had fun. All those people that they came from the village, they were amazed, let's say. They have never seen these things live, so actually I think they had a really good time. The first edition of the Kayafas Battle was a blast. Each and every representative of the water ski community has now added this event as a must to their bucket lists, and the only way is up for this project. The 2023 edition is already on its way, so don't blink and be ready for even more hair-raising spectacle and slaloms at their best. Kayafa's battle, we will do something bigger next year, we will be here, Kayafa's battle is on the program now, everybody knows it, next year we're going to go huge, thank you. Guys, I'm going to see you next year at the Kayafa's battle, don't miss it, I can't wait. I can't wait to see all of you here at the 2023 Kayafa's battle in Greece.